Hello everybody. I got uh, another request from this guy about uh, helping him get, to give him some tips how to fix this wheel. Well, from far away it looks okay, but uh, when you take a closer look you kind of can see the um, sharp edges like uh, on the side of the wheel even on the tire it's, uh, the top of the w uh, rim you can see it uh, has angles a little angles this happened because of the uh, bevel the, mm, using of beveling on the all the edges most likely so he uh, sent me this geometry and also the mm, the lighter version like before he apply all the edges how he started and uh, he asked me to help him with tips how to fix this how to make it look uh, closer to a reference okay to this one and um, most likely he was modeling this wheel I hope a uh, Mustang wheel yeah okay let's start doing first of all I, I gotta say this geometry is way too heavy uh, in my opinion it's a uh, just a rim uh, has uh, see it's even giving me issues it's uh, look it's it's way too many polygons doesn't have to be that heavy 1.5 million triangles if and uh, can you imagine if he is modeling a car and he needs four of them for a model and just on the wheels they're gonna be four five million polygons more than five million uh, uh, triangles and y you have to keep in mind because of, uh, Computers are not that good. There is no endless uh, like power on the computers yet, and you still have to keep uh, scene is optimized and like uh, with a relatively not that many poly uh, polygons or triangles. So let's start it. First, let's change uh, view. I don't really like the the view of the mat cap. Hide this. Apparently, reference play a plane. Okay. Mm. There are several ways to model this wheel. And look, the main thing also uh, kind of confuses me. This um, polygons, they don't have uh, edges between them. No, every uh, topology in Blender, it has to be four-sided. Like every polygon has to have uh, four sides, like uh, f four edges. Here we can see it's a well. It's difficult to explain, but let me show by fixing this little area how it's supposed to look in Blender at least. In my opinion, he did it in the way how SketchUp work. You know the 3D software from Google SketchUp there it's it's working but uh, in blender topology uh, 
good looking topology ha always has to be like four sided so I would fix it this way but uh, because it doesn't match the amount of polygons on the outer side of the rim and inner side of the rim it could le lead later to some issues so ideally it probably has to be has to look like this just give me a few seconds to complete it yeah it's all you know not precise way of modeling though and uh, I understand limitations of this way of modeling it it's this kind of modeling cannot be used for actual production this way of modeling it can be used only for visualization rendering is to get an idea how it's gonna look like it's supposed to look somewhere something like this I think okay is correct way and I then um, oh, what I'm trying to say is um uh, yeah it's cool to have the geometry that much simplified for modeling but uh, later when you apply the um, subdivision surface modifier is gonna give a lot of issues um, the oh also look at another issue the normals are not recalculated correctly when I put shade smooth it's all weird and it doesn't look good in order to fix it you have to recalculate normals for that you have to select all uh, faces oh, I, got, I got to answer that okay where did we stop hmm yeah i was gonna show you how to uh, fix uh, wrong uh, normals uh, again selecting all faces go to the mesh normals and recalculate outside and we fixed it okay now we have to retopologize re all the polygons. Hmm. It's not a precise method, but what we can do. Yeah, and it may be, it may seem like it's a um, kind of long way to model stuff to fix stuff but uh, sometimes there is no way to, just to save up the time you just have to work on it have to kind of how to explain it correctly just get through it get through all the retopologizing process and yeah, sometimes it seems maybe start all over is faster, but um, before you gain skills, you, you're gonna run into things like that. So, 
Okay, the, I'm going to show you the first method, the retopologizing and fixing geometry. And later I'm going to show the another method, which is relatively new for myself too. So it will be interest it will be interesting to see the results because I, I haven't tried it yet. Okay. Adding polygons here and polygons here. It is kind of interesting to record tutorials, and I'm learning. I learn. I'm learning how to speak. I really want to learn how to speak. You know, like a TV hosts do, very well and very correct way. And it's kind of difficult to me because I'm not really good good at it so I'm, I'm usually very shy person also kind of slow maybe because of my age I'm kind of not young well by now standards I could be considered old because I'm doing computer graphics already since uh, 2001 almost 20 years that's uh, when I w w I began um, learning since I got my very first computer and now it's 2020 now I'm supposed to be very good at it and I'm still not still learning learning a lot and it's constantly changing too so I start posting the YouTube stuff the YouTube time lapses that's why I'm also posting just time lapses I'm not posting tutorials only by request and even not even always only when I got time uh, here uh, this area also kind of problematic in my opinion because it's uh, again it has way too much uh, polygons way too much edges we can easily reduce it twice I think is uh, it's really not necessary to have that many uh, polygons in here maybe if you have like real extreme close-ups only then it makes sense to to do close-ups to to do fine models like this and even the wheel the, this uh, guy did model is also you know okay looking especially from slightly far away so he did a good job for a beginner, I think. Is this the way he modeled? Yeah, well, of course, it's, I'm not going to judge harshly. It's, a, it's not easy when you're just starting, starting out. Okay, that's how I added some edges and some polygons now. Now we can use subdivision surface and trying to add um, polygons and cuts and specific areas to make it close to the 
reference okay in this area we have smooth and this is sharp so we should maybe I should close this one and also maybe it, uh, it is a good idea to have uh, mm, a reference constantly next to you okay you have to keep looking at it at all time in order to see to, to be able to see difference okay like this maybe maybe we should uh, duplicate it many times with the linked checked to get okay I don't say to what degree I I turn it it has to be 72 or okay in this case 144 because it's a five similar pieces Another duplicate linked um, zero. Another duplicate linked minus seventy two degree, and last one duplicate linked and minus one forty four. Okay. We have a little issue, but it's easily to fix the the part where it's not really connecting to uh, other pieces. Okay, just let me. Okay, now we can add cuts in the strategic places like to add edges. This edge here, you can see. Is sharp the guy here is trying to just bevel it um, give me a second he was trying to reproduce this edge by beveling it control B and like this but personally I try to not to use bevel at all I try to add cuts by myself because of the well experience I got I already know how approximately edge should flow on a geometry in order to get good results so in order to get this edge we have to add cuts here 
If we use smooth um, shade smooth, we will be able to see it uh, how it flows even without turning on the uh, subdivision. Now we have an edge. Probably we have to add another. Group right here. In order to get the results closer to uh, um, to the reference. Okay. some cuts here still doesn't really look like an edge but we have to add to all places where those edges are so and probably we had some we have to add some loops here too okay It's so tedious process, but uh, in order to l learn how to do it well, you have to get through this. And in the beginning, there are going to be a lot of struggling. As this way things are. Okay, let's try. Yeah, this is a little bit closer. This is a little bit closer, but still, edge is not really pronounced very well. Let's add some more. Okay. Okay. In this particular area, you, it's kind of boxy slightly, and uh, in order to get results like that, we have to add. But right here. Okay. And on another side too. Right. Yeah, it's closer and geometry is optimized. It's not that heavy at all. Okay, other places we have to do similar stuff. I 
I temporarily turn off the um, uh, subdivision in order to it's just I think more comfortable to, to model this way it's easier to me personal edge still the, the here on the reference edge is sharper so uh, what we're gonna do is add another loop on the inner side here and uh, see what happened It's better to connect it here too. Let's check it. Yeah, now this edge got sharper. And this area is also kind of boxy. Next to the hole for uh, bolts. We're gonna get results if we add through here and here. Okay, let's check it. Little by little, the wheel is getting closer uh, to a reference. And what we should do next? Okay. We definitely have to fix this area. Look, right now it's when I apply, um, I turn on the subdivision, it's all messy like this, and doesn't look like um, reference at all. The area, the where holes are. The way to fix it is uh, um, shape flat and. Uh, do it just so it's comfortable for me. I um, add the cuts, and you you have to add another loop just around the edge. I will show you what I mean in a second. Just here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some people may disagree with uh, this method. Uh, they can say that it's uh, too lengthy. And you have to be very patient. And yeah, it, it could be slow. But it's an optimized way. Now look, if we turn on smoothing and uh, it's 
look much much closer to the reference and the reference it's a full circle, full circle look, look and the cap is uh, smaller but okay I'm gonna leave it as it is because uh, I'm doing this just as an example of um, how to bevel not how to do like exactly precise modeling and from far away it's not really detectable and uh, so I'm gonna leave it as it is and maybe we should add one more loop right here in here okay. Okay, it's getting it's getting nicer and nicer also on this wheel there is a sharp edge right here and in order to accomplish that what do we have to do i think we have to move this edge let me show you in a second here yes and add a loop right here now we can even use this instrument loop cut yeah it's much easier and faster but in order to uh, use it properly you have to have like um, all quads because it doesn't work on a five uh, edge uh, edges polygons five sides polygons for example here here it's not gonna work so we have to fix it by doing this yeah in here and now if we do the loop cut it's working you can move it and use it but again you have to gain some skills a little bit models a little bit uh, you have to model maybe three or five wheels or other objects and you, you're gonna learn how to uh, use it Here, yeah it's closer to original it's not really pronounced either but it's getting closer okay this area is not really not really complete okay. Quickly, quickly fixing here. I don't feel really well about my modeling skills, though, especially you know, uh, since I've, I've been modeling for 20 years almost I have to be more professional I think it's just a lot of time I'm lazy and uh, I don't know there is not much time and nowadays there are so much entertainment going on and uh, it's sometimes very difficult to to stay out of it. 
for example, I really like my PlayStation way too much, I think. I'm playing video games. But uh, a lot of things I actually learned from video games, especially as those early years. How to I got interested in CG because of the video games. Computer graphics were always fascinating thing for me. Interesting. Okay. Let's see the results. Well, this apparently central part of it much deeper. If you take a look on a uh, reference and here it's a uh, let's change shade slightly oh it doesn't have any material yet okay okay shade huh this is weird what's going on This is really, really more white. Oh, I found a Mustang. <laughs> then the guy was modeling it. Uh, it is nice. Yeah, and it needs to be fixed to the normal map, as I told. Just select all faces and go to the mesh normals recalculate outside and it's fixed yeah approximately approximately same same way i was learning i was modeling cars okay where did we stop mm. yeah the about the central part of the wheel it seems it's supposed to be deeper at this stage of modeling we can fix it relatively easy I think I'll try to do it yes I had it selected and let's move it back this yeah, now it's look closer to it's not changing in the viewport. The material. Come on. This is really weird. What's going on? Ah, okay, I found it. I found it. Hmm. Okay, maybe even we try to make color close to a reference in order to make it easier okay. Let's 
continue fixing it. Here's another issue, another weird area. When the subdivision does not apply it, it's look okay. But when it's applied, it's all get messy too. So, the way to fix it, add loops here. No, we didn't add it there. We have to do it manually. One, two, three. Okay. Let's see what he's gonna say now. It's slightly better, but not completely. Not completely. Make shade flat. Probably I'll do the shader uh, a little bit lighter because it's more visible this way. it up somehow I have to repeat this thing okay. I really like beautiful topology well it's all quads and it's all like correct proportions and forms so beautiful to me to look and only like really skilled good professionals have can models of uh, things like that 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 well that good okay. way to fix it is this after a while if you uh, spend enough time for modeling you're gonna see this kind of problems ahead of time and predict it and avoid the, like bad way of model it's all the skill thing it's just you have to model a lot and it's, it's good if you have a job, like a 3D modeling job, if you get paid for it. But it's so difficult nowadays to get a job in this area, I think. Closer and closer to correct results, relatively correct. If you want exact model, exact copy, I think it's easier to scan 3D model nowadays. Of course you have to have scanner and you have to have object of scanning just next to you. Probably that must must Mustang Mustang, and I have to fill. 
have to watch more movies in English. My English is getting worse, I think. It was better before. Or maybe it seems so to me. Why this thing look so weird? Weird and not symmetric. It's not symmetric at all. You got what went wrong? What went wrong? to be symmetric and it's not manually try to fix it come on why okay it's right here That's why it's so important to do everything correctly from the very beginning. Most of the time it is not easy, especially if you're a beginner, you just started. So symmetric relatively symmetric and okay maybe it's time to try to come on What's the problem here? No, I don't see it. understand why there is this black thing we try to recalculate normals no it didn't it didn't disappear this is really weird come on blender don't be like that Hmm. There's some kind of issue here too. 
why it is like that. Okay, it has polygons, polygon within it. Yeah, well, that's why. Polygon or what is it? The edge, yes. This edge it has to be done in it. Okay, now it's supposed to be there. Okay, yeah, it took a while, but if we um, if we apply all the oh no, we can't apply. We have to re-duplicate it. because later it might not get connected so let's connect them points okay here we're gonna have to do the same thing to add the loop here extremely light uh, wheel it's just uh, 1000 triangles maybe just one piece let me let me join everything first for joining I have to reduplicate all pieces but without checking the uh, with, uh, checking the link now you you don't have to check the link in order you will not be able to join it otherwise you will not be able to join it. so they should not be linked to Ok, 
Okay, now select all of them and click Ctrl G. Now it's a single piece, but the geometry not united. If we select one face and keep adding selection, you see it's still one segment. So in order to unite them fully, we have to select all points, go to the vertex, go to the mer merge vertices and merge vertices by distance. Now it's supposed to be one thing, but it still didn't come on. Yeah, it didn't completely merge. Hmm. Okay. Well, you got an idea how to do it. So there is a way to fix it manually even though it's extremely tedious I agree with that what are you gonna do? or maybe you should uh, make distance slightly more not for example 0.1 meter 1 millimeter no I think it's it's gonna be too much. Five. Half a millimeter. Okay. Yeah, it joined it. Okay. We were able to fix it. Yeah. It still doesn't look exactly like it, but look how much lighter it is. This wheel well, compared to the wheel the guy did uh, originally. Just give me a second. It's even the file size is way too big, it's over 100 megabytes, just for a wheel, yeah. Here we have a wheel which is one point, the whole, the, okay, let me select it, come on. Yeah, 1.5 million triangles, and here, in another file, we have a wheel which is just 5,000 triangles, and it's decent, it's look okay, even, you know, with a close-up when you do extreme close-ups of, of course you're gonna see the actual uh, polygons but from this distance it looks fine and it's very lightweight it's not heavy at all it's not precise yeah I should maybe I should have done the like, precise way but I didn't try it yet I, I gotta try it myself and later maybe I'll be able to to, to, to to make a tutorial with a new method of modeling uh, wheels, rims, car rims in Blender. Well, for today, probably it's enough. It's already probably over the hour, over an hour long. Yeah, it's one hour, ten minutes, and three gigabytes. Okay. Oh. Next time I'm gonna do a tutorial with different method. I'm gonna try it first by myself, and let's see what happens. It's, it's looks simpler. 
here I was just trying to fix it and make it lighter and still I don't think I, I fix it I didn't fix it completely because yeah here it's not symmetric and it's uh, visible but from far away and if it's gonna be uh, with animation for example it's, if it's gonna be rotated it's not gonna be visible okay till the next time if you like it like it if you don't like it you can always leave a mean comment in the comment section below bye bye